With rumors of high-profile couple Jennifer Lopez and Alex Rodriguez calling off their engagement, I can't help but think of the luxury properties they own together. While the pair says they're staying together to make things work, if they do decide to part ways, they'll have some multi-million dollar real estate to divvy up. But long before A-Rod, JLo was already building her collection of mansions from Beverly Hills to Miami and everywhere in between. You might not believe all of the epic homes she's owned in the past and present. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Jennifer Lopez, even better known as JLo, is an actress, singer, dancer, fashion designer, producer and more, who rose to fame in the 90s when she starred as Selena. She was the first Latin actress to earn over $1 million for a film, later becoming the highest paid Latin actress in Hollywood. Between all her endeavors, from movies to albums to business ventures and more, the woman has built herself an empire and then some. JLo has been previously ranked by Forbes as the most powerful celebrity in the world and her current estimated net worth is at about $400 million or more. However, she doesn't plan on stopping there. At the end of 2020, when Lopez was teasing the launch of her skincare line JLo Beauty, the star claimed she was just going to keep adding on to her sources of income. Because why not? While she says the skincare line is a lifelong dream, she's added that just because she's working on one empire doesn't mean she won't start building three or even four more, explaining why can't we build not one multi-billion dollar business but three or four. And after her and A-Rod bought their most recent property, a $40 million estate on the exclusive Star Island in Miami, it seems the sky's the limit. While the couple spent a lot of time shacking up in A-Rod's Miami estate before buying the Swapper together, JLo also had her very own beachfront home in Miami she bought back in 2002. Jenny from the block has come a long way since her days growing up in the Bronx with her family, so let's check out the lap of luxury she's been living in more recently. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house who are here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. While we reported on the homes of Jennifer Lopez in the past and the home she owns with her man Alex Rodriguez, with rumors that they might break up, I figured we could check out the real estate JLo owns and which one of her properties she might choose to live. You know, if she finds herself solo again. On this channel, we talk about celebrity houses, but if you want to know about stuff like JLo's famous green dress or her five engagement rings, head on over to our other channel, Famous Fashion, where myself and some other hosts are reporting on all things celebrity fashion and expensive items. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and now, let's get into this video. Before we hop into the luxury properties JLo owned after she made it big, let's see how it all started. A world away from the glitz and glamour she's now living, Jenny from the block lived with her family in Castle Hill, a residential neighborhood in the Bronx, New York. Her childhood home was just a tiny apartment, but the Lopez family soon upsized into a larger residence for the growing family. The upgrade was a two-story home, a big deal for the family back then. JLo spent most of her younger years in this home with her parents and two sisters. This house in the Bronx was a humble 1,500 square feet and had two beds and three bathrooms, so JLo shared a bedroom with her sisters. While she had little space to herself, the fam had all the amenities they needed to live, like a cozy kitchen and a living room. These days, the size of her childhood home is likely more comparable to one of her bedrooms. Oh, and I was right. Even this first mansion JLo bought in Miami, which she owned from 2002 to 2005, had a master suite spanning a sprawling 1,000 square feet alone. That's just 500 square foot less than her childhood house. Lopez bought this home for an undisclosed amount, and it sat on 1.2 acres of waterfront land overlooking Biscayne Bay. Palm trees added to the privacy of the estate, and the Spanish-style home boasted 12,000 square feet inside. Her first beachfront mansion had seven beds and 13 baths with large formal rooms to entertain guests. There was an elevator as well as an elegant spiral staircase in the entryway with iron banisters, while a living room had plush sofas, stone floors, and a neutral color scheme, which JLo seems to love. Her Miami house was full of amenities, including a theater, wine cellar, and a water purifier for the entire residence. The kitchen was also decked out with neutral colors like most of the home and had a large island and exposed beams along with top grade appliances. Nearby, the grand dining room overlooked the grounds of the mansion with arched windows and there was a medieval style chandelier hanging overhead. That master suite I was talking about? Well, the 1,000 square feet was the result of three bedrooms combined into one and JLo could enjoy her own private features here like an office, terrace, a gym, and ensuite bath. Outside, her Miami property had a 60 foot long 
long swimming pool and spa, a surrounding deck made of coral stone, a cabana, and an insane outdoor kitchen. All this was attached to a dock and 200 feet of waterfront on the bay. While JLo only lived here a few years, it came in handy as this was her retreat after her breakup with Ben Affleck. Years later, after JLo divorced Mark Anthony in 2014, she went on a bit of a real estate shopping spree. And one spa she purchased was this penthouse in Manhattan, just for over $20 million. The spacious 6,500 square foot unit takes up the entire top floor of the Whitman and boasts its own private elevator, naturally. Although JLo was trying to part with the penthouse in 2017 and later relisted it in 2019, it has since mysteriously been removed from the market, so there's reason to believe she still owns it. The main living space in her Manhattan penthouse has oak floorboards and towering 12 foot tall ceilings. The airy living room boasts a skylight and French doors to a terrace overlooking Madison Square Park. There are two levels in this abode as well as 15 rooms and four bedrooms. The master suite is accessed through a separate staircase shared with a media lounge and has access to another terrace. Other features of the master suite include a private dressing room and two en-suites, one with a crystal chandelier and two person soaking tub. Among the multiple casual sitting areas at the center of the penthouse's lower level is an open plan kitchen and dining room with snack bar. This spot even has a massive 3,000 square feet of outdoor space when you combine the terraces and an additional putting green, which is unique for New York City. However, monthly bills for living here at about 20K per month, so thank goodness JLo can afford that. Another major property JLo still owns is her French-inspired mansion in Bel Air, which she purchased for $20 million back in 2016, and this home is a thing of beauty. Spanning 14,000 square feet, this estate has seven beds and 13 baths, and it's the perfect place to entertain. There are epic amenities like its own pub, 100-person outdoor amphitheater, and two guest cottages on the property. The grounds are full of natural gardens and have a jungle vibe, including a bamboo forest, vineyard, and covered bridge connecting different spaces. All of the greenery adds even more privacy to the already exclusive estate, which covers 2.3 acres in total. Interiors are relaxed, but still with all the best features like high ceilings, floor to ceiling windows, and exposed beams. There are rooms like a wood paneled library, multiple offices for JLo to run her empire, and even a massage room to relax. The kitchen is full of light, boasting atrium windows and a long island. Her master suite here is the best of the seven in the home, naturally, and there's a fireplace, terrace, and canopy bed. There are also a ton of add-ons outside to keep JLo's kids occupied, including a games room and outside a mini golf course. My favorite part of the home might just be the pools. Not only is there a gorgeous infinity edged pool out back, complete with a spa and fountain, elsewhere there's also a private man-made lagoon. So we've looked at a handful of JLo's homes she owns all to herself, but if she and Era do make it through this rough patch, they won't need to divide up their most recent real estate investment. Let's not forget they can still enjoy this 14,000 square foot star Island mega mansion together. The two purchased this mega estate for a whopping $40 million just last year, and it's located on Star Island, Miami's most exclusive and super private enclave full of celebrity neighbors and business tycoons. The gorgeous mansion boasts 10 beds, 12 baths, 100 foot wooden dock, and nearly an acre of outdoor space. Other features inside the mansion include everything from an elevator to wine room to multiple family rooms, most spaces with amazing views to Biscayne Bay and the Miami. Miami skyline. Luxury interiors boast big arch windows and antique fireplaces like this one in the living room. But that's not nearly all JLo and A-Rod have here. Outside, the resort style grounds have an amazing infinity pool and spa, a covered cabana and bar, and a guest house. So I'm gonna bring this house tour to an end here. We looked at Jennifer Lopez's properties, well, a few of them anyways, including some options she still owns should she and A-Rod actually call it quits. There's her New York City penthouse, her Bel Air mansion, and more. So which was your fave? Mine is hands down her Bel Air spa. Something about the natural style in the gardens and features outside make it unique. And if the power couple J-Rod does stay together, they've got their $40 million estate on Star Island to occupy. At over 14,000 square feet, they can still even get their space from one another inside the home if they get in a fight. Anyways, let me know your fave J-Lo home down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and tell me whose house tours you want to see featured next on this channel. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!